In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert hours to minutes and minutes to hours. So let's say if the time is five hours, how do we convert that to minutes? What do we need to do? If you want to convert hours into minutes, what you need to do is multiply by 60. The reason being is one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So here's how you can set up the conversion. In the next fraction, you want to write 60 minutes over one hour. You want to set up the second fraction in such a way that the unit hours cancel. And so it's five times 60 and you get 300 minutes. So based on that example, try these two problems. Convert eight hours into minutes and then convert 6.4 hours into minutes. Go ahead and try it. So we have eight hours and there's 60 minutes per hour. So we could cancel those units. So it's eight times 60. We know eight times six is 48. So eight times 60, we just got to add the zero. That's going to be 480. So that's the answer for the second example. For the third one, feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. So we have 6.4 hours, and we're going to multiply it by 60 minutes for each hour. So it's going to be 6.4 times 60, and that's going to give us 384 minutes. So it's very straightforward to convert hours into minutes, but I'm going to give you a different kind of question now. Now, let's say if you're given four hours and 20 minutes, how do you convert that into minutes? Feel free to pause the video and think about it for a moment. Now, what you want to do is convert the hours portion into minutes. So let's do that. So we have four hours and we're going to multiply it by 60 minutes per hour. So it's 4 times 60. 4 times 6 is 24. So adding the 0, 4 times 60 is equal to 240. So if we have 4 hours and 20 minutes, we could replace the 4 hours portion with the 240 minutes. So this becomes 240 minutes plus the 20 minutes to give us a total of 260 minutes. So that's how we could perform uh, that particular conversion. Now let's try another example, or rather you could try two examples. Convert nine hours and 30 minutes into minutes and then convert two hours, 45 minutes, into minutes. Feel free to pause the video and try that. So let's begin by converting hours into minutes. So we got nine hours. Let's multiply that by 60. Nine times six is 54. So nine times 60 is 540. So nine hours is 540 minutes. So what we need to do is add 540 and the 30. So our final answer is 570 minutes. Now for the next example, let's convert two hours into minutes. So we just got to multiply by 60. 2 times 6 is 12, so 2 times 60 is going to be 120. And then we need to add this portion. So 120 plus 45, you have 5 plus 0, which is 5. 2 plus 4 is 6. So this gives us a total of 165 minutes. So that's how... If you have a composite problem with hours and minutes, that's how you can convert it into minutes. 
And now let's talk about working backwards. So let's say if you're given the time in minutes, how do you convert that into hours? To go from minutes to hours, you need to divide by 60 as opposed to multiplying by 60. So here's like a, here's something that can help you. If you're going from hours to minutes, multiply by 60. Now, if you're going from minutes to hours, just divide by 60. That's a quick and simple way that can help you to remember what you need to do in each situation. So let's start with this one. So we have 150 minutes. If you ever forget, the conversion process always helps. Notice that you, ha you have the unit minutes on top. So you need to put the unit minutes on the bottom so that it cancels. So I'm going to put the 60 minutes on the bottom, one hour on the top. So that these units cancel. And the fact that the 60 is on the bottom, it tells me that I need to divide. So 150 divided by 60 is 2.5. So that's the answer for this example. 150 minutes is equal to 2.5 hours. Now, let's try some other examples. Convert 280 minutes into hours and also 350 minutes into hours. Feel free to pause the video and uh, take a few minutes to work on those two examples. So we're going to follow the same setup. There's one hour. I mean, there's 60 minutes in one hour. So set it up in such a way that the unit minutes cancel. So this is going to be 280 divided by 60. And that is going to be 4.6 repeating, which we can round out and say it's about 4.67 hours. So that's the answer for the first example. For the next one, we're going to follow the same pattern. We're going to multiply by one hour per 60 minutes. So it's going to be 350 divided by 60. And that is 5.83 repeating. So we'll leave the answer like that. So that's it for those two examples. Now, here is a question for you. Earlier in this video, we converted 4 hours and 20 minutes into 260 minutes. Now, let's say if you are given the time in minutes. How can you convert it to hours and minutes in that form? Feel free to try this example if you want to. Go ahead and pause the video and come up with a way to convert 260 minutes back to 4 hours and 20 minutes. So let me tell you what you need to do. First, start with 260. Take your calculator, divide it by 4. 260 divided by 4 will give you... Actually, I take that back. I did it wrong. You don't want to divide it by 4. You want to divide it by 60 because you want to convert minutes into hours. So take 260 divided by 60. This will give you 4.3 repeating. So let's say that's 4.333. We're going to take away the 4 and save it for later. That 4 represent the hours portion of our answer. Now what's left over, the 0.3333, take that value and multiply it by 60. This will give you 19.998 minutes. But keep in mind, the 3 should keep repeating. So therefore, when the 3 goes on forever, it will give you 20. And so you put this together, 4 hours and 20 minutes. So that's how you can get this answer from this value. That's the process by which uh, you can get that result. Now, for the sake of practice, let's work on two more examples. Go ahead and convert 325 minutes into hours and minutes. And then try this one too, 475 minutes. Go ahead and do the same thing. So let's start with 325. 
Step one is to divide it by 60. So this is going to be 5.416 repeatant. So we're going to take the whole number 5 and put that in front of our hours. So we have 5 hours. Now the leftover part, the 0.416, so let's say 0.416667, multiply that by 60. You should get about 25. So the answer is 5 hours and 25 minutes. And you can convert it back to 325. If you do 5 times 60 plus 25, that'll give you 325. That's a quick way to go backwards. Now for the second example, let's follow the same procedure. Let's take 475 and divide it by 60. So that's going to be 7.916 repeating. So let's take the 7 portion and put that in front of our hours. And then 0.9166667. Let's multiply that by 60. So that's going to be 55. So the answer is 7 hours and 55 minutes. To confirm that your answer is correct, take 7, multiply by 60, that's 420, and then add 55 to that. You should get 475. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to convert between hours and minutes and minutes to seconds. Thanks again for watching. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.